Next, I'm going to change the difficulty to B, because we don't want the dragons to run away when they see the sword, and start the game. There's the bat. First thing I always like to do when I play this game is to kill the one loose dragon. There he is. Uh, he's nice and stuck in the wall. Next, I am going to find the gold key, open up the gold castle, and then try to get the bat again. And lock him in the gold castle so he leaves me alone. So let's hurry up and open the gold castle before that bat comes back. Now if we can just get the bat. We'll put him in the gold castle. He's caught onto something else. So we gotta go find him. See if he comes back here. Alright. I want him to trade the magnet for the key. There we go. Now we will go throw him in the castle. Now here's a trick. If he flies up, he'll be stuck. But if he starts to fly downwards, he can escape. So let's try to get him in the upward. There we go. That's perfect. He will not leave the castle over there. We are done with the bat. Next, let's go open up the white castle. That's where the black key is. It's a little funny, I, uh, after 35 years, I can navigate these mazes and corridors like second nature. It's like I just never forgot. Okay, White Castle, now I'm gonna need the sword again because there's another dragon in that castle. sword one more time so I'm just gonna throw it out here next we will need this purple bridge this bridge allows you to go through walls and you have to go through a wall to find the black key there it is Okay, now we have the black key. We will open up the black castle, but first I'm gonna go back and get that bridge and give me a little shortcut. We're gonna do a few things here. One thing I want to mention, though, I'm super impressed with this little Retron 77. I think the joystick feels great. It feels just like the original controller. So if anybody has a problem with it, they must not be used to the original controller. But it feels just like the original to me. It feels very natural. Um, the image is crisp and clear. The sound is great. I, I don't think I've seen, other than 
you know, emulators on a PC, I never seen an Atari screen so crisp and clear, which is fantastic because I don't really like playing emulators on the TV. So what am I doing here? Oh, the, I just started talking and pass it out. The next thing I want to do is bring the sword. To the black castle because there is a red dragon who's pretty freaking mean in there and I have to go get the black key sword. We'll go find that red dragon. There's so much going on the screen, it's kind of hard to kill him. He's always guarding that chalice you see there. the flickering on the screen. You've probably seen that on a few screens. Um, this is actually a memory limitation of the Atari 2600. When there's too many objects on the screen, it just kind of glitches out and flashes. And I'm going to tell you that for one particular reason. Uh, first, let me just mention that the goal of this game is to find that chalice and get it back to your yellow castle. Once you get into the Yellow Castle, you win the game. But this game is also known for being the game with the very first video game Easter egg. And that's because the developer of the game wanted credits for it. However, the distributor was not going to put game developer credits on the video game. He hid his name in the game, and there's a specific thing you have to do to actually see the credits. But it was the very first Easter egg implanted into a video game, and I'm going to show you how to get that right now. First, we're going to need the bridge because it's in a inaccessible location, and you can tell where it is because I only have one object in this room, the bridge, but the screen is glitching, so we know Something else is in this room. Maybe hidden down in this corner. Oh, got it. See that? That is the black dot, or some people say gray dot. If we take this secret dot, to a specific location, we can reveal the Easter egg. Now you can't see the dot in the day unless it's in the wall. See, there it is. So, so normally you can never go past this black line. So we got the black dot, but we also need another object in there to glitch out the screen. and the black dot in there. We need one more item. Looks like we need one more item. Let's get the white key. There we go. Now it's really glitching. Now let's go through this wall. And there it is. Very first Easter egg right there. Created by Warren Robinette. Again, Warren Robinette was the developer of this game who simply wanted credit for developing this, and since 
the distributor was not going to put his name on anything to accredit him. He hid his name in the game itself. So this was really freaking cool at the time. And let me talk about this for a second because you gotta remember, we did not have internet or anything. Everything was word of mouth. Everything we learned on a video game, we would have to tell you know, our friend or somebody would have to tell us. And this was a secret thing. And to be able to show people this trick, say, hey, I know a secret trick in this video game. You go find a secret black dot and you get into a secret room and then you just watch their mind be blown. So now we saw the Easter egg, let's go ahead and finish the game. Ah, oh, I forgot I left my bridge, gotta go back the other way. Get the chalice, and we simply take this back to our home castle. game of adventure we finished the game we found the black dot if you liked this please be sure to subscribe i certainly would appreciate it if you have a story about video game secrets or easter eggs or something be sure to share those in the comments i certainly would love to hear some of your old memories about that mm -hmm.